Hey you guys, it's Nathan back with another video. Today we are looking at the light tab in Photoscape X. Now this light tab can be very helpful for adding different flares to a photo even if you didn't have the time to let you know pull out maybe a portable light or your uh, different colored lights or things like that you can add them later and you can still make it look pretty good and just uh, you know add a little bit of character to your photo uh, that you might not have had in the original photo so let's look at what this original photo looked like just me sitting in my old old office uh, this is my new kind of studio that's still like in the works uh, very primitive right now uh, nonetheless you can add some different lighting effects in here now some of these lighting effects are for the Photoscape X Pro uh, version of Photoscape, which is a, I believe, $40 one-time purchase. But there are a lot of free tools in here as well. So definitely check this out to see what you can do. The question that was posed to me on my YouTube channel was whether or not you're able to add neon colors to your photos in Photoscape X. So uh, let's take a look at that and uh, particularly looking at lights and things like that trying to see hey can you have like a neon light like shining on one side of the face and then another side of the face having it either darker or uh, having maybe a contrast color so let's take a look at the light tab in photoscape x so we open up photoscape x uh, in the light tab and what you have here is you have six different boxes uh, that has uh, different things in here. First one is light leaks uh, pack one and then you have light leaks pack two. Here you can just kind of go through and click around and see different lights that are available. And this is uh, neat. It helps to give kind of a feel for what an image could look like. They are basically like filters and things like that. Some of them look great. Others of them don't look very good at all, but it just depends on the photo that you're working on. But one thing that's nice is that if you are, let's say selecting this one here that has some on this side, some on this side, if we look down here at the bottom right hand side, you would see you can flip the orientation of that effect uh, left to right or up to down. Uh, so that's neat. Then you're able to even rotate the effect as well. Sometimes you can find something that just works so well if it's rotated in a certain way. So that's cool. Then you have an amount and a scale. So you can change it so it can become a very like subtle change to your image or it can be something pretty dramatic. Um, also the scale of it will increase kind of the size of what it looks like. So like if you get an image here and you're like, oh wow, this is too kind of smushed in. Let me increase the scale a little bit and it'll start widening out those different elements. So let's say if we click on this one, you can increase the scale here and you make these uh, different circles here. This bokeh look even, uh, even bigger or you can make it smaller. Also on some of these, there are ones that have kind of more uh, tools in here. It's some where you can adjust like colors or adjust uh, some different things. So definitely play around and see what you can find in there. But yes, there's definitely a lot in here that you can mess with. Uh, Light Leaks 2, this one actually has a bit more features in here because like you can click on one here. So let's click on, let's say this one. This one's probably one of my favorites. Um, so what you have here is you have this light that's been added to the side of the image here and what's interesting is if you drag over here you get all these different anchor points and things where you're able to click on uh, this right here and you're able to move that light to a different part of the image you're also able to grab the other ankle anchors and rotate it to wherever you'd like it to be you can also increase or decrease the size of it um, there's a brightness a slider here where you can decrease the brightness to zero or you can increase it to just an extreme amount. You're also able to increase the scale of it if you want it to be smaller, if you want it to be bigger. So you can definitely uh, play around with that a lot. 
and then there's also a tint in here so if you wanted to tint it so it's blue or if you want to tint it green or red or whatever you'd like you definitely can do that and definitely feel free to go online and you can look up like neon colors or you can look up whatever color palettes you're looking for and you're able to insert those codes into here right down here to that uh, uh, code color code down here you can paste it right in or you can copy it from a different place or if you find a part of your image that you really like to use you can click the color picker and you can go in and maybe I can pick that orange from my shirt and then I'm able to have that orange uh, tint to that color so definitely totally up to you there but yes there's a lot of different adjustments that you can make and what's really neat is you can get your color and then you can hold that tint throughout the whole thing so um, that I think is really cool to be able to see what kind of colors and tints you're able to do here but that's what Light Lakes 2 looks like then we have Boca. Boca is pretty fun because you can have uh, different just like little splotches things like that and it really does depend on your image for like a portrait or something it'd be kind of hard to it'd be kind of hard to do use any of these like super heavy ones because you end up getting covered up in the image uh, but it is really neat that you're able to select something you're able to move it around you're able to adjust it and you're also able to go and select some different color options here as well which I think are really cool um, so you can definitely play around with that for certain images I think it'd be great and what's nice is you can adjust like the amount and the size you just like throw it to one corner or one side of the image so you could get whoopsie you could get that neat look ah, I keep messing it up it keeps wanting to grab that anchor point but you can get that where you get it on the side but nowhere else and you can can you copy it uh, I don't know if I can copy that yeah no you can't copy it whoopsie yeah you can't copy it unfortunately but what you could do is you could save that out like you could go and hit apply then you could go back to light you could find it again get it to the setting that you wanted it to be and you could go tell it to apply again over here you could make it work um, just a little fiddling around there uh, but back to this it's neat that there are so many different color options around here you can even do auto where it will just kind of select it what you have in your image uh, so that's kind of neat you can do the shapes you can change the shapes this is so fun the different things you can do like bubbles cats uh, stars you can do a lot of different things to really make stuff pop out and look amazing so I think that's pretty fun um, so yeah definitely have fun there in the bokeh section uh, lens flare this is where you're probably gonna get that answer to the question about how to add neon colors or add colors to different parts of an image find whatever fits your fancy whatever you think looks best um, let's see because these are flares it's usually like uh, if the Sun was flaring against you so you're probably gonna end up with this like trail of different images or different lights which isn't exactly what I'm going for um, but you can of course change your tints and things like that and get kind of what you're looking for there uh, but you might actually find more help in what is the light section which is what's next this one's neat because you can grab whatever you want you can put it wherever you want in the image and you can select the color the straight color that you want so let's say if we were going for a red um, you can do that you can put that in there and what's neat is you can adjust the scale to be bigger you can adjust that brightness to be as intense as you need it to be um, you can the how wide it's gonna be but you can select that which is pretty sweet and then like if you wanted to do another one you can go back select the same thing again because that reds already applied we can move this other one around and let's change this one to let's say a blue and there you go uh, the lighting definitely needed if I was ever to try to design it to look like hey Nathan Collins is a police officer um, so that's really neat that you can take an image that originally looked like this and change it to something that has some more lighting effect to it that looks neat so that's how I would add different neon lights and colors into it even if you don't have those lights in the first place you can definitely put that in 
Uh, one thing that you could do, uh, you can look up these videos as well, like how to cut out an image where what you could do is you could go and insert. Um, I have, uh, let's see, oh, I'm going to have to find it. Are they really going to make me do that? Oh, I don't think they should make me do that. There we go. Y you could insert yourself, like you cut yourself out of the image and you can put yourself back in. So then the background is affected, but not you. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, but nonetheless, you can learn how to cut yourself out of an image. It's like how to remove the background of any image. Um, so you can do that. Lots of interesting things with the colors there. Let's uh, back it up to original again. But yeah, you look at these different lights, different effects that are available. Um, and yeah, just play around with it, have a lot of fun. You have a lot more available in the pro model versus what's free but I think you can still make a lot of things work out for you. Then we also have uh, nature. This is neat because you get like a snow effect or you can get different drops, different things like that. Really a lot of fun things and once again um, just having the freedom to adjust the amount, uh, being able to have the image stretched, you know, different things. But definitely play around with it because it can do so much for your images just to add that little bit of flair even if it was just kind of a normal image to start out with. So that is the lights tab in Photoscape X. I hope this video was helpful for you guys to be able to see what you can do with the lights uh, tab. And definitely if you have any specific questions on the lights tab or anything in Photoscape X, definitely let me know and I'll see about making a video on that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.